the world of tomorrow will be filled with new types of challenges and opportunities there will be a dramatic shift away from the thinking that we learn one profession do one job and continue it for decades people will move around much more than they do today and creativity will play a key role in living a fulfilling life hi my name is part saksana and like many of you i too didn't understand this rapidly changing fast paced world and how i could align my mindset and thinking to thrive in such a world so i did what was expected of me i became a computer science engineer and got a job um over the next few months i randomly fell into music and i realized something for the first time in my life music allowed me to explore and hone my own creativity imagination and into intuition something that really interested me and explored myself within so i thought to myself if i had the technical ability to build something and the creative passion for music then why couldn't i just combine the two and build something that is much more meaningful to me and so i left my job started a music technology company and over the next few years took it from garage to grammys that journey taught me something very useful i realized how fulfilling and exciting life and work could be when you really love what you do something that i had not understood before it opened up a vast ocean of opportunities and possibilities for me something that i had almost conveniently overlooked and ignored when i had planned a distant future in my job i also realized that how my own mindset and my own priorities perspectives changed with time and how planning too far ahead was almost like turning a blind eye towards my own internal evolution as a human being today i think that these realizations are even more important to understand as we enter the world of tomorrow which will be much more dynamic dramatic and quite unpredictable a world where planning something too far ahead by distance you from your own internal evolution as a meaningful and unique human being a world where many might forget that a vast ocean of possibilities and opportunities exists around around them so i thought to myself what could what could help you thrive in such a unpredictable world uh, don't change the side don't change the side so i thought to myself what could what could help you thrive in such an unpredictable world and the answer came to me that it's the child within your yourself so for this talk let us all become the child within ourselves let us all bring out that child and give him some toys to play maybe lego blocks because everyone is familiar with lego blocks and let us put him in this imagination uh, this palace of imagination where he can play with these lego blocks and build something now there are two very different ways in which this child can build something out of these lego blocks there is one where you can tell him to build an airplane and there's another where you can just tell him to build whatever he likes there are, the, the reason these two these two uh, ways are very different is because in the first case when you have told him to build, build an uh, an airplane he is going to look for the right shapes and sizes and colors of the lego blocks that he wants he that he can use to build this uh, this airplane his creativity and imagination is restricted by guidelines that are already given to him he cannot do much more he cannot think of many more ways to use those lego blocks he is not enough curious or enough creative to find out other things that he can build but on the other hand if you see the second child that child can obviously build an airplane but he can also build a train or a, or a ship his mind is open he has so many options and he understands that there are many ways he can build those uh, build different things with those lego blocks so this child has is someone who who will have much more creative and imaginative mind and would not be restricted by guidelines i think lego blocks are like experiences in life so when you travel to a new city you collect a new lego block when you uh, talk with a friend over coffee and discuss a subject or a news you get a new lego block when you uh, 
maybe read a new book or an article, you get a new Lego block and so on and so forth. Lego blocks, when you get them, you really don't know how and when you will be able to use them to build what in the future. You've just got single pieces of Lego blocks as you experience and the future will unfold them when they come and uh, come into use when you want to build something. For example, when I was learning music, I got a Lego block. When I was learning technology, I got another Lego block. But at these two points of time, I never knew that these Lego blocks would somewhere combine together in later point of time to build something, to make, uh, to help me build something that I had not even planned for. Steve Jobs once said at Stanford University, a university that I am very fortunate to be closely affiliated with, he said, you cannot connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to somehow trust that the dots will connect in the future. And I think we have, have a few good lessons to learn from this. You can't plan it all. So be patient and have faith. Some of the most, uh, mo you often, you often learn the most valuable experience lessons from the most unexpected sources. So as you go about living your everyday life, try to collect different perspectives ex and experiences. That's the only way you'll be able to connect them sometime in the future. You can't always have a purpose ahead of time before you do something. You can't always plan what you may learn. You have to somehow trust that someday you will have the imagination or the creativity to, or the opportunity to build something and you would need those experiences to help you build that uniquely. Curiosity is how you go about collecting these Lego blocks and intuition is what drives you to connect them. Curiosity, intuition and the process of collecting these experiences drives the creativity and imagination, something that you must exercise to thrive in the world of tomorrow. And once you have that Im imagination and creativity, have the courage to execute on it without regard to looking stupid or uh, feeling, uh, feeling uh, ridiculed or failing. Create, build, uh, construct something, you can deconstruct it, reconstruct it, experiment along. True innovation is always a journey. And don't just stay inside your own palaces. Exchange experiences with others, learn from others and grow yourself. Collaborate with others to make your palaces of imagination much more richer, more diverse and more colorful. As you, are, as you enter the world of tomorrow, the child within you will guide you and give you the imagination, creativity, curiosity and intuition that you need to build, create, innovate and collaborate. Hold him by your hand, hold, hold him by his hand and walk forward with a genuine sense of passion in your heart. He will help you thrive and find you new ways as you go about living your life. It is your choice today to choose the child, child you wish to be. Thank you.